нашего Is with us. Amen. Hallelujah. That, that word was what? A prophetic word. Hallelujah. Concerning what? The coming of what? Of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It was what? A prophetic word. I believe it's Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 or something. Somewhere around that area. And you see, uh, because the words went ahead, he said, for unto us what a child is born, and unto us a son is what is given, and the government shall be upon what his shoulder, and his name shall be called what wonderful, mighty God, counselor, everlasting father, the prince of peace. This prophetic word, Isaiah spoke it hundreds of years before Jesus Christ was born. And you see, this was a prophetic word but anytime a prophetic word is about to be made manifest or anytime a prophetic word manifests in what in is what infantile stages it, it becomes a big threat to the devil and the enemy will do everything to make sure that that prophetic word does not what yield its fruit but the devil is a liar Hallelujah. I, 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 came, I came here this morning, hallelujah, to lift somebody's faith up and to let you know that there are some things that God has spoken about your life, hallelujah, and irrespective of what the enemy brings your way, as long as you hold on to God, uh, the word of the Lord concerning your life, it shall prevail. Turn your Bibles with me to the book of Matthew chapter 2. The book of Matthew chapter 2. From verse 1. Matthew chapter 2. Bible reads, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, of Judea in the days of what Herod the king behold there came what wise men from the east of Jerusalem saying where is he that is born king of what of the Jews where is he that is what is born what kings of, of the Jews for we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Amen. Verse 3. And when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled. And all Jerusalem with him. Herod was a king. And Herod heard that another king has been what? Has been born. And, 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 and for fear of losing what? His kingship and jealousy. The Bible said that Herod was what? Was troubled. And the whole of what? Jerusalem with him. Sometimes you being a prophetic word. Hallelujah. For some of you seated here. You being here alone is prophetic. Hallelujah. You being a child of God. You see, people enjoyed you when you were in the world fooling around. Hallelujah. But now that you are in the kingdom of God, and now that you are what? A child of God. You pose a lot of threat to the kingdom of darkness. Now that you are a child of God, 
Now that your status is changed, you pose what? A tremendous what? Threat to what? To the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. You are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. You are a threat to the people who are not walking right. Hallelujah. Sometimes the people that are your friends who mock at you, when they see you holding your Bible, they know deep down within their spirit that when the Lord comes today, you will go to heaven with the Lord. Hallelujah. And they know deep down in their heart that they will stand before God and they will be judged. And that alone makes them very angry. They know it. They wish they were like you. But you are not what you are, but by the grace of God. Hallelujah. You have chosen to change your direction in life. Hallelujah. You have chosen to walk what? The narrow way instead of what? The broad way. The broad way that leads to what? Destruction. And the narrow way that leads to what? Eternal life. Hallelujah. You have decided. You have deliberately decided to follow the Lord. And your friends know it. Jesus Christ was a threat to Herod. And, and because of that, Herod designed what? A plan to destroy him. Look at what Herod said. Verse 4. And when he had gathered all what? The chief priests and the scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. You see, and they said unto him, verse 5, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it was written by the prophet. Hold on there. Hold on there, verse 5. He said, they checked. You see, prophecy is gone forth already. Hallelujah. And, and when Herod heard that the king of the Jews had been born, hallelujah, the Bible said that Herod guarded what? The scribes. And the priest and all those people and began to what inquire of them where this very king will be born. And the Bible said that it was documented by the prophet that he was going to be born where in Bethlehem, Judea. It was documented. Hallelujah. I said, before Jesus Christ came. His coming was announced thousands of years ago. And what? Jesus Christ was born, hallelujah, so that what? Prophecy would be what? Would be fulfilled. Hallelujah. What was spoken in what? In Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, concerning the seed of the woman, when we enter into the New Testament, in the days of John the Baptist, that which was spoken thousands of years ago, was now being made manifest. Look at somebody and tell them, hold on. The word of the Lord for your life, concerning your life, will surely come to pass in the name of Jesus. Tell somebody that the word of the Lord concerning your life, it will surely come to pass. It, it will surely come to pass. It will surely come to pass. And this is what Herod said. Matthew chapter 2, verse 6. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor. Hallelujah. Out of thee shall come what? A governor. Ha. Ah. And he shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search what diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, 
bring me word again that I may come and worship him. Meanwhile, he was lying. He said, go and, 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 and do all your research. And when you find that baby, that very child that you are talking about, the king of the Jews, come and tell me. Because I want to go with you and pay him what? Obeisance. Hallelujah. I want to go and also what? Worship him. Liar. And when they heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with what? Exceedingly what? Great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gift, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in the dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Amen. The Bible said that God came and warned them and told them that this was Herod's intention. Herod's intention was to what? Was to destroy Jesus Christ. And so God warned them that when after you had seen this baby and given to him what you wanted to give to him in terms of the gift and worship him and everything, don't go back to Herod, but rather go a different way. And the Bible said that Herod waited for them. They did not come. And Herod was so upset that Herod issued a decree that every male-born child should be what? Should be killed. Hallelujah. A prophetic word under threat. Hallelujah. Sometimes because of the word of God that has been spoken over your life, concerning your life, the enemy will come against you in all manner of fashion. Hallelujah. Satan will devise every strategy to frustrate the way. Sometimes your own life, your very life comes under attack because of what? The spoken word concerning your life. Hallelujah. But child of God, I came here this morning to let somebody know that the word of the Lord concerning your life, it shall prevail. Hallelujah. That which God has spoken concerning your life, that which God has spoken concerning your children, that which God has spoken concerning your scholarship, that which God has spoken concerning your daughters, that which God has spoken concerning your life. I came to assure somebody under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost that hold on because the word of the Lord will prevail. The word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Concerning my life. Concerning my children. It shall prevail. Over every work of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. I declare prophetically. That the word of the Lord. Concerning my life. Concerning my children. Concerning this nation. Concerning my city. It shall prevail. In the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord. I said the word of the Lord. Concerning your life. It shall surely come to pass. You see, God is faithful. The reason why you're going through that which you go through, major part of it, is because of what has been spoken. The reason why Jesus Christ went through all those problems and those pressure and the mockery and everything that he went through it was because you see God has mandated that this very child of his was going to go through the pressure and will definitely come out what victorious hallelujah he will be positioned on the right hand side of the father where he rightly belongs Yes, 
when the word of the Lord is spoken over your life, Amen. child of God, I entreat you that hold on. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, hold on. Amen. To the word of the Lord, hallelujah. I said, hold on to the word of the Lord. Hold on to the word of the Lord. Irrespective of the challenges, hold on, hallelujah. Irrespective of what you go through, hold on, hallelujah. Don't let your past hold you back, hallelujah. Uh, embrace that which has been spoken, hallelujah. And by that which has been spoken, uh, uh, move forward uh, and push forward. Uh, continue to believe God. Uh, continue to do that which you know is true. Uh, and hold on, huh? because God is not a man that he should lie, huh? nor a son of man that he should repent. Huh? Whatever thing that God says, huh? he is more than able huh? to bring it to pass. He's more than able. He's more than able. He's more than able. He's more than able. I sense so strongly in my spirit that we are coming into a season of manifestation where the things that God has spoken, some, some of the words that the Lord has spoken, I believe that the time has come, hallelujah, and the season is ripe for the manifestation of that very word, hallelujah. Oh, you that is watching, hallelujah, I, I don't know what it is, huh, but there has been some word that were released huh, before you. I want you to know that it is time to hold on, hallelujah. The time for the manifestation has come, hallelujah, irrespective of what the devil brings your way. I came to encourage somebody, hold on. Look at what Paul told Timothy in the book of 1 Timothy. Go with me to the book of 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 1. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. 1 Timothy. Look at it. 1 Timothy chapter 1. Oh, turn your Bibles with me. 1 Timothy chapter 1. It says, This charge I commit into thy hand. Oh. Other version says that this charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy. He said, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them, what, mightest, what, war, a, what, a good warfare. Hallelujah. Timothy, before you came into the ministry, there were some words that were spoken of you. Hallelujah. And, and this very hour, I want you to have those prophetic words at the back of your mind. And let that prophetic word encourage you. Hallelujah. Let those prophetic words huh, encourage you huh, and walk believing God. Huh, exercising what? Faith. Hallelujah. And also keeping a good conscience. Hallelujah. Because the word that has gone ahead of you is so important that you can't let the word a shipwreck. A lot of people God has spoken words prophetic word utterances have been declared unto them about what God in you see prophecy is what the, the word of God okay prophetic word from God is what is God's word intention for your life Sometimes, where you are today, and the words that were spoken, they don't make sense. How can it be said that the Lord intends to use me to do this and to achieve this and that, and look at me today, and, and that word and where I am today, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't correspond. It doesn't add up to. But child of God, sometimes it does not make sense. Hallelujah. You see, but you see, when the time comes, hallelujah, some, you see, when, 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 you, when you are working with God, most of the things that the Lord will speak concerning you, it does not make sense. An angel came to Mary 
and said that you shall be with child. Meanwhile, this Mary was a virgin. That's right. And he said, through you shall Jesus Christ, the Messiah, come forth. And Mary said that, what are you talking about? Look at me. I am a virgin. And you, you telling me that it is through this womb that the Messiah will come forth? What are you telling me? An angel came and told Sarah, who was over 80 years, that you will give birth to a son and you shall call him what? Isaac. And Sarah said, that, what are you talking about? Sarah said, what are you talking about? Give me a microphone. I don't know. Sarah said, what are you talking about? Something is wrong. Sarah said, what are you talking about? Something is wrong. Something is wrong. He said, he said, what are you talking about? I don't know of anything like this. Look at me. If the Bible said that when it was told Sarah that you will have a child, the Bible said that Sarah laughed. He said, God, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm 80 years, and you're telling me I will be and give birth? Check it out. The word of the Lord. It doesn't make sense. And that is how God is. And Paul told Timothy. He said, Timothy, there's been words that have been spoken concerning your life. But I want you to know that because of those words, put up a good fight. Hallelujah. I said, put up a good fight. Hallelujah. Live by faith, hallelujah. Keep a good conscience, hallelujah. And live by faith, hallelujah. Walk believing God, hallelujah. And look on and do that which is expected of you. As long as you are in a rightful relationship with God and you walk in obedience to the word of God, child of God, that very prophetic word will surely come to pass. It will surely come to pass. It will surely. I don't know, I don't know what Satan's plan is, but irrespective of what Satan is, I came to announce to you this morning that the word of the Lord concerning your life is for sure. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord concerning your life is for sure. Hallelujah. The prophetic word of God concerning your life, it will surely come to pass. Irrespective of what the devil does. Hallelujah. Irrespective of what Satan does. Hallelujah. I, I just want you to know uh, that in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, if God said it, uh, it's more than able to bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Despite the opposition. Hallelujah. Despite the struggles. Uh, despite the what? The problems that we go through. Once God has spoken, he is more than able to bring his word to pass. That is his nature. He is not a man. Hallelujah. A sense in the spirit that we are entering into a season of what? Of fulfillment. Hallelujah. I said we are entering into a season of what? Of fulfillment. Certain things that the Lord has spoken is about to manifest. Hallelujah. Certain words that the Lord has spoken is about to become flesh. Hallelujah. The Bible said that and the word became what? Flesh. And it dwelt among us. Hallelujah. The time has come uh, for certain words that were spoken uh, to be made manifest in your life. Hallelujah. And I came to declare prophetically that this is the season of fulfillment. Hallelujah. Something is about to happen. Hallelujah. Something is about to break forth. Hallelujah. You are about to be what? To be ushered into what? A season of what? Fulfillment. From the beginning of April it's a month of what? New beginnings. Hallelujah. I said April is the month of what? New beginnings. Hallelujah. When you see the flowers. Hallelujah. When you see new flowers on the tree. Note that something has begun in the spirit. Hallelujah. When you see the old leaves fall. And the new leaves begin to what? Spring for the green trees. Huh? The flowers and everything. I said mark it. It is a sign that something new is beginning in the spirit. Hallelujah. The Bible says that remember ye not the former things. Huh? 
neither consider the things of old for behold I do what a new thing hallelujah something new is about to spring for hallelujah who told you huh, that you have cancer who told you huh, that God cannot heal you huh? I came to declare prophetically huh, that God is more than able huh, to heal you of that disease huh? I came to let you know huh, that God is more than able huh, to change your situation huh? I came to let you know huh, that God is more than able huh, to turn your situation around huh? who told you you can't be married huh? who told you you can't become huh? that which God wants you to become huh? that is a lie from the pit of hell huh? I came to let somebody know huh, that God huh, is more than able huh? he will do exceedingly huh? he will do abundantly huh? he will do above huh? that which huh, we ask or think huh? as long as we are positioned huh, in the way God wants us to be positioned huh? something new huh, is about to break forth huh? something new huh, is about to be made manifest huh? something new huh, is about to break forth huh? in the realms of the spirit huh? something new is coming huh? something new is coming huh? as we enter huh, into the month of April huh? I declare prophetically huh, that we have been ushered huh, into a season of new beginning huh? something is about to happen huh? when you see the flowers huh? when you see huh, the leaves huh? when you see new flowers huh? it is a sign huh, that something new huh, is about to happen huh? it is a sign huh, that something new huh, is about to break off huh? it is a sign huh, that God is about to do huh? as something spectacular huh? something unique huh? something gorgeous huh? is about to happen huh? I declare prophetically huh? April as a month huh? of new beginnings huh? in the name of Jesus Christ huh? I declare April huh? as a month of new beginning huh? you will see new things huh? you will encounter new things huh? the glory of God shall be revealed huh? the power of God shall be revealed huh? we are coming into seasons huh? of divine manifestation huh? we are coming into seasons huh? of divine fulfillment huh? the Lord will do something new huh? the Lord will do something new huh? the Lord will do something new Jesus.